G'day everyone, this is Andrew Price here for another Blendy Guru tutorial. And in this video, you'll discover a superior way to light your outdoor environments to make them look realistic, natural, and accurate to what you see in the real world. Lighting is important because if it's done poorly, all the effort that you've put into modeling and texturing your scene will be a complete waste. So it's really worth getting it right. Good lighting can mean the difference between an okay render and an awesome render. Now, when it comes to outdoor lighting, many people will tell you to use a sun lamp and then a secondary sun lamp set to blue to act as the sky. Now, this method is not only taught in Jeremy Burns' famous lighting book, but I myself taught this method in a tutorial four years ago. And while this method is good, technology has since caught up and there now exists a far better method, which I wanna share with you in this video. Now, the reason this two lamp method isn't realistic is that in the real world, outdoor lighting is actually really complex. You'd think that most of the light would just come from the sun, but it actually comes from everywhere. You've got the sky, which gives everything this blue soft lighting. And then you've also got the clouds. And as sun bounces off the clouds, each one of those basically become their own light source. And in fact, you can actually check this out if you inspect a real photo of a sky and have a look at the range of colors, saturations, and values. This is why lighting with physical lamps just doesn't come close because you simply can't capture all the detail that exists in the real world. And without that detail, something in your image is just gonna look off. So let me introduce you to a better method for lighting your exteriors, HDR lighting. HDR lighting uses a single 360 degree photograph to light your scene. There's no physical lamps, it's all powered by that image. There are a few issues with HDRs, which we'll talk about soon, but first let me show you how to set one up in Blender. First, jump into the world nodes and add an environment node. There you can load in your HDR image. Once loaded, it will automatically wrap around your scene in a 360 degree fashion. Now, if you notice that the default lighting appears soft and indirect like this, that's because there's brightness clipping going on in the HDR. So to fix this, we're gonna add a math node and then set it to multiply. This is gonna find the bright areas of the image and then use that to create sharp light. Then we're gonna add another math node and set this one to add. And this is gonna act as that soft sky lighting. Now, if you look at the scene, the lighting should be correct. One thing you'll probably notice though is loads of noise, but thankfully there was a feature developed just for this called multiple important sampling in the world panel. If you set that to around about 2000, the noise is all gone and that's it. You've now got wonderfully photorealistic lighting that is accurate to both the lighting and the reflections of what you see in the real world. Now, as much as I'd like this to be a final solution, HDRs do unfortunately introduce several problems that you should be aware of. For starters, HDRs are absolutely huge. Due to the amount of data in them, they can range in sizes up to 400 megabytes per image. And this becomes a problem for Blender, as the spike in memory consumption can cause it to crash while rendering. For example, when we were rendering the Grass Essentials trailer, there was one scene in particular that was continually crashing and we couldn't figure out why. When we dug deeper, we found that a single HDR was spiking the memory usage by four gigabytes. This meant we had to do a workaround that compromised the quality in order to pull it off. The other problem is that they aren't friendly to artists. If you have more than one HDR on your computer, you wanna be able to see a list of thumbnails to select the right one. But unfortunately, the huge file sizes means that Blender will hang for minutes as it tries to create the thumbnails. And the problems only continue from there as you need to jump back and forth between the node editor, tweaking values and putting in way more nodes than you should need to, just to do some really basic tweaking. But the biggest problem of all is easily affordability. Due to the amount of work required in capturing them, Sky HDRs are expensive. Online, they go for about 30 to $100 each. And while there are a few free ones scattered around, you often get what you pay for, as many are blurry, low res, or captured at poor exposure ranges. Now in the past four years, I've been using HDRs for nearly every scene I create. And whilst I loved the beautiful lighting, the problems they were causing began to outweigh the benefits. So I decided to come up with a solution, a way to have all the benefits of HDR lighting with none of the problems. And now I'm proud to announce just that, Pro Lighting Skies, a collection of HDR skies that works seamlessly with Blender. To use the pack, you simply enable the add-on in Blender, and then in the world panel, you've got access to over 80 professionally photographed skies that are exclusive to the pack. 
and selecting one couldn't be easier. You just click it and it's done. In the background, the nodes are set up, all the values are perfect, and you can quickly switch it out for another one in a flash, making it a really valuable experimentation tool for finding the right light scheme for your scene. And best of all, we found a way to make it reduce the memory usage of HDRs by up to 87%, meaning you can easily render on your GPU without Blender crashing. And there's plenty more I haven't shown you, but instead of doing a whole sales pitch in this video, I wanna give you the chance to try it out for yourself. So if you'd like a free demo of the add-on, which includes three full HDR skies, click the link in the description below. Enter in your email address, and then you'll receive the add-on in your inbox. It never expires and it's yours to keep. Or if you're ready to purchase, you can go here now. Thanks for watching.